Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis. I'm the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. First, if you've just found my channel, well, thank you for stopping by. I hope you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, join the family, so to speak. Uh, I try to upload videos as often as I can, or as often as the, I should say, the spirit moves me. And if you're a returning subscriber, well, thank you for joining me. But no matter if you're new or if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me. It means the world to me. Um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And what I'm gonna do, this is kind of like a part two from yesterday's video about Florida water. Uh, of course, like I said, there's so many, many different ways of using Florida water. And I wanted to just throw in a, a few more because I, I try to refer back to my notes and sometimes I'm successful and sometimes not. But um, when you think of Florida water, whether you've bought it in the store or whether you've made it on your own, think of Florida water as a spiritual hand sanitizer. So anytime you, you know, you're, you go out and about or no matter what you're doing, you know, whether you have a small little bottle with you or whether you have a hanky in your purse or your car that has hopefully moistened and sprayed with it or a bigger bottle, think of it as a, a spiritual hand sanitizer. Just kind of clean those bad vibes off or maybe you don't know that there's bad vibes there and just, you know, just kind of brush that off. But you can also use it and now I'm not gonna say this about the store-bought because I do not use the store-bought, but with mine, and I, I gave you guys the recipe, I do not use alcohol. And so you might have to factor that in to what kind you're using and what you use to make it. Just for safety's sake, I'm mentioning this is because sometimes what I do if I'm feeling a little drained or, you know, not quite right, um, is I will pour a little bit into a tart burner, add a little bit of yarrow, and burn this at bedtime. Of course, don't go to bed with a, with a candle lit, but, you know, just burn it a little while and let the aroma go up into your room and let the essence go up into your room. And of course, with the, hopefully you've used my recipe with your intention, most importantly, your intention going up into the room. This will, you know, knock things, knock things down in your room and help you to sleep better. And you can also use this in a, if a child, if you have children, uh, and if they're having bad dreams, you can use this to spray, you know, just, you know, kind of lightly over them. You don't want to douse them at bedtime, but, but maybe just spray a little bit in your hands and, oh, little Johnny, I hope you sleep well. And, you know, uh, and in the corners of the rooms, you know, just give it a light mist. And, I, you know, I think that probably will help with their bad dreams. And I also, no, nope, I'm not cleaning for you today, but, <laughs> but um, I, I also missed if I'm just cleaning house in general, I, again, very lightly, I missed my Swiffer uh, and go through the house. I, I go through the corners, around the doorways, uh, above windows, and of course your furniture too. And you know, that's, that's a really, really nice thing. Or, if, or if you have a broom, I hope you have a broom, but, um, you can spray a little bit of a, on the broom as you sweep your floors, or you can add just a wee bit of this into uh, where you mop, or if you, you know, again, if you Swiffer, spray a little bit of this onto a Swiffer and do it like that. And you can also, um, again, depending if you have pets, I don't know your situation with children or whatever, but you can also keep a small glass of it maybe like a little juice glass or maybe just a small kind of container of open Florida water by your bedside. Again, uh, this is just to repel negativity and to get rid of things like that. Um, and I hope this helps 
each and every one of you use your Florida water. Uh, again, you, you don't have to, you know, douse your house down with it, but just, just lightly spray. If you're going to go into ritual, lightly spray a cloth. Wipe everything down, and I mean everything you're using. And I, I know that seems kind of, you know, a bit much, but I honestly believe it will make a huge, huge difference in your magic. And I hope this helps everyone. If anyone has any questions at all, please feel free to ask. And with that, I will say merry part, and I hope to merry meet again. Bye, guys.